Hey folks, welcome to Skid Row, downtown Los Angeles. My name is General Jeff. We're right here live on San Julian Street in between 5th Street and 6th Street. You gotta understand, this is the ground zero of Skid Row and we're about to do something special and very, very historic starting today. This is February 8th, 2014. And for the history, as long as history knows in Skid Row, the, the politicians and the other people outside of this community have never wanted to respect us and, and, and honor and written, acknowledge us as being Skid Row. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint a positive mural, a positive murals project. What we have going is gonna be painted right here inside of this square. And so without of all the clues of what we could possibly paint there, and, point, and we're gonna put this on that wall right before behind me right now. So you're gonna see the before and after on this video, nobody knows a top secret project and you're the first to know about it. But watch, it's gonna be amazing. And when people come down to Skid Row, it's kind of like, you know, the Hollywood sign. People come from all over the world to go to Hollywood to check out the Hollywood sign. People go all come all over the world to see the Santa Monica sign. You know, people are gonna come all from all over the world to check out our Skid Row sign. You watch, it's gonna be historic. This is a landmark day, this is a landmark monument and a landmark mural. Enough said, stay tuned. Oh, get these guys, here they come. Hey! Yes! <laughs> All right. This is phase one of the Skid Row Super Mural. Uh, right now we're doing the Skid Row City Limits and uh, my man Cockroach and we have the Winston Death Squad yeah. that's about to represent who they just been featured in the downtown news as uh, being the, the, the uh, curators and originators and the creators and the executors of the utility box art project that's going on around in Skid Row in the historic core, courtesy and supported by council member Jose Weizar from the 14th district, which also includes Skid Row. I went to your wedding, what was that, Thailand? Yeah. I've yeah. been to your wedding and all of that, so <laughs> good to see you. And now tell us a little bit about what he was talking about that you're also being recognized for right now. Well, we've been doing uh, projects up and down Winston Street and down Indian Alley, commemorating certain history that's gone on in the neighborhood over the years, trying to create true murals, things yeah. that reflect the history of the neighborhood, that involve the community. We're not out just branding ourselves. We're not out just sneaking corporate bullshit into <laughs> our pieces. So we're getting recognized by certain members of the city that we're doing good. They like what we're doing, and they've been breaking us off uh, some utility boxes. Kind of the first time this has been done in downtown, and giving a chance for some of our more outlaw artists to be a little bit legit and not have to worry about the police coming up on them for beautifying the neighborhood. Well, I so, really love your uh, mode of transportation here. <laughs> It reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And on that note, we're going to cut this short because we got to get to work. Yeah. All right. Peace. <laughs>this is uh skid row right here san julian we're live day one the close of day one we've got the mural partially done you know what i mean we've got the winston death squad here we got chris como and we issues and solutions right here we are working the community is loving it nothing but positive positive feedback and you're going to be more impressed come day two tomorrow when we finish this thing but for right now this is the only shot you're going to get of all of us so enjoy it's history in the makings and we are out let me just say that historically the city of los angeles has has, has gone away from and gone out of their way to not recognize skid row as a community so what we've done first we started with our own logo and we took it from a, 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 a logo to a mural and so now the thing is is we claim in skid row as a community and we're also putting the city of los angeles logo on to hold them accountable for what their lack of actions are
and we got culture. So this is the mural, what the mural is going to be. This is exactly what it will be. Yes, sir. messing around with the cable, but this here is like Skid Row, we're giving it a name, identity. I mean, you gotta really uh, say thanks and appreciation to the artist. This is a magnificent job. Very proud to be a part of it. So in a minute, Jeff will be with you, and we'll roll. Hey folks, day three of the historic Skid Row mural going up, phase one. Skid Row City Limits, it's actually the whole wall, the Skid Row Super Mural. But right now it's phase one, Skid Row City Limits. And we're putting up the finishing touches right now as we speak. The actual mural is already done, but you know how artists are. We got to dot the I's and cross the T's and make it look real legit because it is legit. And understand this, nowhere else in the city of Los Angeles, especially in Skid Row specific, will you actually see a sign that says Skid Row. So we decided to take it upon ourselves to put our own sign to identify our own community right here on the heart of Skid Row, San Julio. Street in between 5th and 6th you got to come see it folks are going to come from all over the world and take photos of this iconic city and this iconic logo this iconic community just as they do in Hollywood which technically is not a real city it's a community but they come from all over to take pictures of the Hollywood sign they are gonna come off from all over the world to take pictures of the Skid Row sign and I'm honored and I want to thank the artists involved right now working behind me we got the Winston Death Squad we got uh, Chris Como and they're all Skid Row residents my name is General Jeff Issues and Solutions this is part of the Skid Row Public Space Task Force Operation Face Lift, the Skid Row Positive Movement 2014, we are moving. So just to give folks the specific detailed definitions of exactly what this logo says, Skid Row City Limit. Now necessarily this is not the limit of Skid Row, but this is an, a, a design that we already had, as you can see the logo on my shirt. But basically what it's about is the name Skid Row and it not being identified anywhere. But we went chose this sign because it's green, it's a vibrant color, and it jumps off the walls. And you, we got a lot of gray and dull and dismal walls in this community. The sidewalks are dull and gray. The asphalt is dull and gray. And so with that, we want bright j colors. You know, that's what the Positive Murals Project is all about. Operation Facelift. We clean up our streets, paint bright, energetic colors and murals on our walls. And that's what we're in the process of doing. So getting back to the mural, especially the bottom line is most important. Where you see population, you know, we could have put a number in that spot, but the number is just so astronomical even one person living in Skid Row with a Skid Row state of mind is too many so we put in their population too many on elevation when you're talking about sea level sea level doesn't matter because in Skid Row we're all below sea level here when we live in here so but the thing is it says 2008 and the reason why is because the Skid Row residents a whole bunch of us put to start our own grassroots organization which led to our the beginning of our own positive movement so the Skid Row residents positive movement actually started in 2007 but it didn't begin to take flight and elevate until 2008 and so here we are in 2014 with another Another positive mural on another wall and then most importantly on San Julian Street so anybody wants to come from anywhere on the world they're welcome to come but this is the first of many and that's the true definition behind the mural as you can see here this is where we get depth and in detail into the specifics of what's going on 
you can because just like when you do you spray paint especially outdoors um, you get the, you get an overbleed from when the wind blows extensively so just like you can look here and see on the each letters um, there's a little bleeding uh, excess and so we just tighten that up with a hand brush so it, it really to in order to get it right without uh, compromising the actual piece it's good to go by hand and you have to take your time and so uh, you can tape the edge and once you take the edge you can just literally just go right over the edge and so it's, it's, it's a tremendous skill and it's tremendous uh, devotion from the artists working on this piece they're taking pride in their work So you got to use a level and everything. Make sure this is straight up. <laughs> All about precision. <laughs> precision, yes, sir. Hey folks, here we are once again on San Julian, live in the heart of Skid Row. It's the Skid Row City Limits mural, which is phase one of the super, the bigger project with the Skid Row Super Mural Project. So that's to be continued. We're gonna get this whole wall, it's gonna be beautiful. So it all started, folks, with this little street sign right here from the Department of Transportation. It's a real street sign. And from there, it went to a t-shirt. And from here, now it's on a mural. And so the city of Los Angeles seems to seemingly will not recognize Skid Row, any of its city official city maps. Uh, they have not given us any street signs that we exist. So we have given ourselves our very own street sign that said we do in fact exist. We are residents, we do live here. And in fact, we're ready to be added our voice to the conversation of all things Skid Row. And so there's impossible to have a discussion in Skid Row without having the community, the residents that live there, their voice added to the conversations and sit in that permanent seat at any and all tables. You think about any city from the San Fernando Valley to San Pedro to Venice and the west side. Skid Row, we're here, we live here. So this is uh, step one and phase one in the uh, Skid Row mural project started with Skid Row City Limits. We got some of the artists standing here and uh, we got uh, Chris Como and uh, we got next to him Stephen Cockroach, you know, Winston Def Squad, you know what I mean? We got Dove L, we got some other folks. And over here, if you check us out, we're signing the wall today because we're almost done. So we've got my organization, Issues and Solutions, who's responsible for this project. Uh, we've got General Jeff, which is myself. We got Chris Como, who you saw, Wildlife. WDS, which is Winston Def Squad, and you guys know about them for those utility box, brilliant artwork that they've got going around town. They're popping up everywhere and they're beautifying the community every single space at a time. And so we've also got Azure, who's on right now, tightening things up. And we've got my man Trey, who's not here today, but he helped us out on the project. So it all, all connected to residents in and around Skid Row. And this is a community project and it's partnership and at its best. And so we also want to thank the positive movement in Skid Row, which includes the different organizations from the Skid Row 3 and 3 Street Ball League, Operation Facelift, uh, you know, Skid Row Photography Club, Veterans in Photography, Los Angeles Poverty Department, Drama Stage Qumran, the Skid Row Chess Club, you know, Fun Zone Reading Club for Homeless Kids, and on and on and on. But I definitely want to thank the Skid Row Public Space Task Force for helping working with us to get all of this done. You know what I mean? That means everything from contacting the owner of the building and on and on and on, all the stuff behind the scenes. And so, beautiful project. Come see it. Just like you go see the Hollywood sign and people come from all over the world to take a picture of that iconic uh, monument. And the, here's the future in Skid Row. People are going to come from all over the world to take pictures of this iconic monument. History in the makings, y'all. 2014. Hey, this
This is Blaze coming to you once again from the Skid Row City Limit. I'm here to take a final shot. This is day three. We're pretty much finished. The artists are really working, but I'm going to take a final shot because I got to rush off to LACC. So anyway, so once again, I'm really happy to be part of a positive movement. And we want to name Skid Row what it really is and not Century City East. Whoever gave that name. They should be out of office by now. <laughs> so anyway, so again, I'm proud to be a part of this. I'm Michael Blaze, Skid Row Photography Club, Skid Row Films, and Veterans in Photography. And I'm wearing an Eco Robinson t-shirt from Occupy LA. Yeah. All right, Blaze out. Thanks a lot for joining us. How low can you go? Death Row, what a brother know. Once again, back is the incredible Rhyme Animal, the impeccable. Public enemy number one, five votes said freeze. And then I got numb. Gonna tell them that I really need to have a gun, but it's the wax that the Terminator X bun. Now my records, they, then they got me in a cell because my records they sell as a brother like me said, well, Farrakhan's a prophet that I think you should listen to. What he can say to you, what you ought to do is follow for now. Power of the people say, making miracles. D, I'm the lyrical black is back on Lynn we're gonna win. Check it out. Yeah, yo, come on, here we go again. Wick, 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 bring the noise! Yeah, yeah.